I create music is really therapeutic for me. Like it's like a diary almost. So anytime I'm feeling really frustrated, that's when I write the best songs and the best music. So I was going in the studio with my friend London on the track, Nisha and Omar, and it was like the second or third song of the day. And for the night, the one you guys heard, that one was inspired by, you know, I was like in this situationship a couple months ago and we both had our guards up and it was like, when will we just let loose and like, just let it go. So that's what the song's about, like letting your guard down for the night. So yeah, uh -huh. I think we've all kind of been in that situation. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no, you got you gotta be vulnerable. That's that's the key, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the best songs kind of write themselves like within 20 minutes. Okay. Um, anytime I have to force a song, I'm like, okay, well, it's not meant to be. Let me walk away and kind of let it go for a second. Okay. Like, I feel like with something you truly love, you just kind of like with you guys, you just have to let it flow through your body. And that's how I kind of look at music and, you know, the lyrics and the melody just kind of flowing through. You never know what will happen. You just kind of stick whatever to the wall and like see what stays. And that's how it is with the creative process. Who is your go to group? Meaning what, what, like for me, for example, I don't know if your, your mom will know since she's, she's from St. Lucia, mm -hmm. but for me, there's nothing above Cassav. Cassav is a West Indian group from Guadeloupe and Martinique. You know? Yeah. yeah so yeah. That for me, there's nothing above Cassav. Like there is Cassav and then the rest because it's my roots will always speak yes. ahead of anything else. So there is nothing above Cassav for me. What is it for you? For me, I honestly love all music because I get inspired by any and everything. Growing up, I loved, well, a lot of Tony Braxton and Nina Simone was playing and Beyonce and Destiny's Child. And as I got older, I fell, fell in love with Khalees, Imogene Heap, and Meryl Garvis of Tune Yards and Grimes. Like, I love like all of the experimental, interesting sounds. And right now, I've been listening to a lot of Kate Bush, Joni Mitchell. Who else have I been listening to? Erica Badu. Do, of course, there. Erica Obviously, Badu, yeah. yes, and Prince, listening to, uh, they put out like a project of his where it was just to the keys, mm -hmm. and it's really beautiful just hearing how, uh, you know, like on top of his voice he was, and like even all the little imperfections were perfections. It's pretty <laughs> cool how like he did that with his song, so, and Donna Summer, so there's a lot. And for Disconnect, what do you do? I love the ocean, I love swimming, right. and I love food. <laughs> like anytime like if I'm grumpy or like in a mood I just need a plate of food in front of me and I have the biggest smile on my face and I'm okay what type so I'm vegan but any carbs or bread or like sweet <laughs> difficult to be a vegan yeah. <laughs> do you like to do some gym or sport yeah I love to dance I love 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 to dance I like to dance because you're working out your body and it's a lot of cardio but it doesn't feel like you're working out there'll be moments where I get really disciplined and I'm like in the groove of working out constantly, like if I'm prepping for a performance or anything like that. But the hard thing is like, I've been filming every day for this movie I'm doing, and it's like I'm there from 5 a.m. till around 10, 12, so it's yeah. by the time I get home, all I wanna do is sleep. So when that happens, I have to kind of like, figure out a way to maintain the workout schedule in between, because it's like your body's all a part of your image, and I love food, so it's like those things don't go well together. <laughs> so it's like I have to pay attention. <laughs> How do you guys like maintain like your shape and your endurance and everything? Well, for those guys, it's easy. They're still playing. Yeah. For me, I struggle. Yeah, I <laughs> struggle <laughs> by you. No, no, but then it's not the same because I, I do struggle. Before, I, I used to have a schedule because I used to play. Uh -huh. I played for 20 years, mm -hmm. but now I don't play, so I need to uh, battle with my own brain to try mm -hmm. to keep a certain way of living, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. because that's what I used to do. For them, I guess it's easier because they have training, it's easier. Yeah. so they have to they show up and they train. Then. The thing is that it's very difficult because oh, I, I hope that that's going to happen for you is that you can sing for a long time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Age doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. But at one point when you play, you know, I used to see things that I couldn't do anymore because mm. my body couldn't follow. And then when you stop doing something that you did for a very long time, oh, that was right. your passion and you cannot do it anymore. It's like Try. a little death. Like You die. Identity crisis yeah. You die yeah. because you can't do it anymore. Yeah. At that level I'm talking about, obviously. Oh. Uh, but then you can't do it anymore. And to adjust to that sometimes, it's not easy. Just imagine if I said to you tomorrow, you can't sing anymore. Mm -hmm. that, that would be the scariest thing. No, that's what I'm saying. It's tough to deal with it mentally at times. Yeah. How are you dealing with it? Well, so just trying to stay in shape, to be occupied, staying relevant, staying close to the game at times. It's not easy to die because you do die. Mm -hmm. You have to let it go. And that's not, mm. that's not easy. Okay. Are there any 
hobbies or activities you guys do out of football that make you excited and happy? Family, my kids. Family, yeah, 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 family. Kids, kids. kids. Yeah. you know, a lot, a lot so to, be, to be fair. I like to listen to music. You said ocean mm -hmm. makes you disconnect. Music makes me, makes me dis disconnect. When I was younger, that's the, the only way I could travel because I, I come from a bad neighborhood mm -hmm. and that was the only way I could travel. Music and food. Yeah, that was like a travel. distracting yeah, yeah, yeah. to kind of yeah. zone So out. it helps me to go back to those moments and reconnect mm -hmm. with uh, who I was and who I am. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's, how, that's what music is for me. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Like a good Brazilian like I am, uh, I want to know if you listen some Brazilian music mm -hmm. or if you like some single, Bra uh, some Brazilian single. Yes, I love Anita. She's my girl. Anita. I Anita. love her to death. <laughs> what is your favorite city to visit when you are on t or tour? So the thing about the times I've been on tour is that I've only been in a city for like one to two days and I've never really explored it. I think that's like the only downside of touring because you're going all around the world, you get to see all of these incredible things, but you're only there for such a small amount of time. Like I know you guys deal with that. Same. Whenever you go to play, like you're not going there to explore and yes. be a tourist, you're Same going there to work. Yeah. So I think that's why it's so important too for all of us and I'm trying to be mindful of it to kind of take time to go on a mini vacation, even if it's for two or three days to just disconnect sometimes because we get so caught up, our body's stuck in this pattern and we feel like a machine and that's great, but we also have to be mindful of our mental health and how we feel inside. So, Important. you know, yes. that's what I'm learning. The only time I've really explored a city when we were on tour, we were in Amsterdam for like maybe three days. So I took a bike and I rode all through the city <laughs> and I had the best time and also in Copenhagen, they had this amusement park that they said Walt Disney went to to get in inspired. And I love like rides and everything. So I think that was the one time where I really like actually enjoyed a city we were touring in. <laughs> what do you want your legacy to be? When I have grandchildren like two generations later and they're like looking at photos of me and being like, that was your grandmother, that was your great grandmother. Look at her on the stage. She looks so happy. She spread music all around the world. And for some reason, when I picture that, it feels so real. And it's like in the moment when you are striving for a goal, it feels like really hard and difficult. And sometimes you don't know if you'll ever make it there. Like, you know, all people really see, even from you guys, is like the glitz and the glam from the outside and what it's like being a part of the top football team in the world, but they don't really know all of the blood, the sweat, the tears, the pain, the injuries that go into it. So, you know, even though I'm in something completely different when it comes to being an entertainer in music, I go through the same thing as well. So it's like when you're kind of caught up in that, you don't realize what you're actually working towards. So it's like what I want my legacy to be, I want my future family to be proud of me. I want to be proud of myself and I also want to be at peace because you can have everything in the world but if your mental and your heart isn't right then none yeah. of it matters. That's so that's important. what I want. Okay.